going on everyone welcome back to another swift tutorial in today's video we're going to be looking at how we can put together a carousel view which is often also referred to as a cover flow view so what you see up here at the top which is automatically scrolling between these different cards of course we can scroll it ourselves in either direction and down here we have another uh, version of this this style is called cylinder so same idea we can flip between these various cards but of course the visual appearance is different so we're going to look at how to create these what other styles are available and basically how to put this together so that said drop a like down below if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button if you're new get x code ready and let's get into it so as per usual let's get started by creating a new project we're going to stick with our single view application and we'll call this my carousel save it on our desktop and let's get into it so let's pick our favorite simulator up here in this case it's the one that i've got open and let's hit command r to build and run you'll see an empty application pop up here make sure things are working and let's actually start implementing this so the first actual thing we need to do is bring in the framework that lets us add a carousel and we're going to be using cocoa pods to do that so open up terminal and cd into the project folder and do a pod in it open pod file and in this text editor we want to bring in the cocoa pod that has the carousel stuff in it which is called i believe i carousel and hopefully i spelt that correctly Close your text editor and we want to do a pod install and you should see some green success messages like so. On your Xcode window, hit command W uh, to close it because we need to open up the workspace now that the pods just created. So we're going to do an open mycarousel.xe workspace and in here, let's expand this project folder up here go to our view controller and let's start implementing this. So let's select our simulator again, hit command R to make sure everything is still building and our empty app. Uh, cool. So let's get started in the controller by importing the framework we just installed, which is iCarousel and the carousel itself, the view for it is also called iCarousel. So let's say my carousel is going to be an eye carousel and let's say view is eye carousel or we'll return it and the reason i'm doing it in here rather than view to load is we also want to assign the type and there's quite a few types that the carousel allows you to pick from and we'll go over a couple of them in this video um, i encourage you to look at all of them they're all pretty well implemented and pretty cool but let's get started with CoverFlow. So if you're not familiar with CoverFlow, it's uh, what Apple has implemented or used to have in the music app where you can flow through different album artwork. So once we have our view defined up here, we simply need to add it to our current view as a sub view. So let's do view to add sub view. We also need to implement the data source for this view. So very similar to a table view or a collection view, we need to implement the data source. And the data source has two functions which allow the carousel to actually populate itself with content. The first one is number of items. So we'll do 10. And the next one is view for item. And similar to a cell for row in a table view, we need to create a view in here. Let's give this a frame. Let's say 200 by, um, let's do some random number in there. Let's return this, but let's also set a background color like so. And let's hit Command R and see what we get. So it looks like it's all the way up in this corner. And the reason is 
uh, because I forgot to give the actual my carousel view a frame. So let's give this a frame and view to load. We'll say zero for the X, zero for Y. Width will be view.frame.size.width. And height will say 200 as well. So hit Command R. And cool. So we got our carousel up here. So let me zoom in a little bit here. We can actually go through each of these views and they're all red right now and they're kind of small. So maybe not the best sizing choice on my part, but basically this is how we get the view. Now, all of these cards, quote unquote, in this carousel are empty and just have a red background. But in this function, we can customize that. And we're gonna be doing that in just a second here. But let's actually change up the sizing a little bit because these cards are awfully small and we want them to be a slight bit bigger. So let's make Y 200. Let's make the height 400. Let's copy and paste this height here. And let's make the width view.frame.size.width divided by two. And clearly messed up something. View.frame, this should be self.view. And we should have a bigger carousel. Okay, awesome. So now, now the other thing we messed up is now it's taller than it being wide. So let's change the height of this again to be uh, 300 and let's have this be 1.3 and see if that's better. Okay, cool. So now these are more of square sizes, so similar to cover flow. So let's actually add some content to each of these cards. Um, we're gonna decrease the number of cards because I picked four images before this video. So we're gonna have four of these. And then we'll also explore the different uh, types of carousels we can create through this assignment that we did up here. So like I mentioned, I grabbed four dog pictures before this video. So let's navigate to our assets and we're gonna say dog one, dog two, three, and four. And then we're just gonna drag in these pictures that I got beforehand. Whoops, like so. Let's do the third one and Looks like this one is a web format, so there goes that one. Uh, so we're gonna stick with three in that case. So let's go back to our view controller, change this number of items to be three. And we are going to add a image view to the view of this card. And in this function, we get this index uh, index integer as a parameter. So we're gonna use that to actually get the dog image that we just added. So we're gonna say image view is a UI image view with the frame being view dot bounds. We're gonna say view add sub view image view, image view dot content mode is scale aspect fit. And the most important thing, obviously, image view dot image is an image named dog underscore, and we're gonna say index plus one. And the reason we say index plus one is because this is enumerated from zero upwards, and we don't have a dog underscore zero. We have one for one, two, and three. So we need to increment it by one. So if we hit command R to build and run, we should see our dog photos, but clearly we don't. So I clearly messed up something. So let's see what we got going on. So the frame is correct. Dog is index plus one, which I think is correct as well. Let's double check that. So we got a dog. Uh, we don't have any underscores here. So that's the problem. I threw an underscore into this. Let's get rid of that. Hit command R one more time. And now we have our dog pictures. Now we also have the red card because we're scaling the picture to fill and not overflow, but you guys get the point. 
So that being said, let's look at some particular uh, properties on this carousel that I think are um, of note and they're especially useful. So the first thing you notice when we set this up is we assigned the type property. The type is actually super powerful and it gives you a bunch of different layouts uh, to choose from. So let's look at cylinder. And if we hit command R, you'll see that the visual presentation of this whole thing changes. And it's pretty cool that you can do this with a simple enum assignment. Um, so let's look at another one. We're going to look at rotary. And rotary is specifically cool because it automatically um, rotates back to the first element. So it's kind of never ending. And this is what you'll oftentimes see in apps like Instagram. And I think the App Store even does this uh, as an Apple has done something very similar to this uh, in the iTunes app and the App Store. Um, and the other one, and the last one actually I'll show here, is you can say uh, on this carousel, auto scroll, and we're going to do negative. So it scrolls from right to left. And if you assign that, you'll see that this automatically goes between uh, different cards. So it's a little fast right now, but if you wanted to have content at the top of some controller, uh, this is a super, super clean and, in my opinion, a very elegant way to do it. Um, and there you have it. That's basically how you can implement a carousel view. Uh, it's This framework is super useful. It's very popular. I encourage you to just Google it, iCarousel. Uh, it's compatible in Swift and Objective-C. Uh, so yeah, that said, if you haven't dropped a like down below already, make sure you do so. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment if you have a question. Always love hearing from you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.